Urging news for our Bert case. He woke up. Bert also spoke today for the first time. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons spoke with the TV legend and his wife on this major moment in his recovery. The phone rang. I said, "This is Mary," and they said, "Bert's awake, and he knows his. He knows who he is. He knows where he is." He uh, wanted them to call me. Bert Case's wife, Mary Wheaton, got that call about six Monday morning, and it is a blessing. The 76 year old newsman has been in the hospital three weeks to the day. He had spent the week prior with me on the Gulf Coast covering the 10 year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. How can a guy who's that strong, who's been on the Gulf Coast with Scott Simmons, doing all that Katrina stuff, I mean, how can, how can somebody like that be taken down? It's just not right. The fear was that Bert had eaten something on the coast that made him sick, but in the end, it was something entirely different, a dangerous blood infection. Starts with the kidneys and then goes all the way up through your body. It turns out he'd had a urinary tract infection that created the sepsis. And when somebody is completely out, Scotty, uh, it's, it's, it was dire. Bert's doctors have kept him heavily sedated and his body flooded with antibiotics. Waking up and speaking Monday morning is what Mary refers to as an answer to all of those prayers. Little steps to get Bert out of the hospital and hopefully soon headed back home. And that's what I'm talking about every day, little baby steps, little baby steps. But today was a big one. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.